It may look unremarkable from the outside, but this housing complex on the outskirts of the Dutch capital Amsterdam is home to an innovative new project. Of the 560 people living here, half are Dutch students, while the other half are young refugees granted asylum in the Netherlands. It's financed by the city's government and a local housing association. One resident is 20-year-old Yasser Reis. He left his family in war-torn Syria and fled to Europe on a leaky boat in hopes of a better life. This is our kingdom, we chill and stuff. That's my neighbor Rob, Rob's the first neighbor that I met actually. Rob is Dutch and comes from the small picture postcard town of Volendam. They are best friends, even though they come from very different backgrounds. Because he's been through a lot, you can just see it right away. And I'm picking that up as well. How you approach new situations, I think that's the uh, greatest thing I've learned. It's impossible to make a future or have a normal life over there. It's really a big mess. We motivate each other. Yeah, that's a good point to mention. Yeah, uh, He's learning me Dutch sometimes uh, because uh, he want me to be better as well in Dutch and also rope get to the level that he need to learn Arabic somehow. The Netherlands, like much of Europe, has seen a spike in refugees in the past two years. In this time, over 70,000 people have applied for asylum here. The government is still struggling to house its new Dutch residents. But this initiative right here offers a unique solution. All residents pay the same amount of rent, the majority with help from government welfare benefits and student loans. Because of its success, the city of Amsterdam now hopes to build five more projects like this one. It is uh, open for a couple of months and in these months we see that a lot of people, uh, a lot of refugees are being more involved with the Dutch society, so it is working. I think one of the main ingredients is they have the same age, they have a different background, but maybe they have the similar future. Of the 280 refugees living at Startblok, the majority have come from either Syria or Eritrea. Many of them say that living alongside their Dutch neighbors has helped them integrate into their new life faster. Fleur Launsbach, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam.